Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Surrender to spirit. Yeah. Surrender to passion and to surrender to spirit. So this is, like I said, having a clean slate and now surrendering your fear of intimacy. I feel like this is a, this is an, a, a, not a fear of intimacy just with the people around you, but the fear of intimacy within yourself. Getting really up close and personal with yourself, like really, really surrendering your attachment to results, seeing that where you are is where you're supposed to be. There's work that has to be done. You've done a great deal of work, but you, all of the work that you've done, it was just to give you a clean slate. It, it wasn't, there wasn't building your, your forever. It was simply just setting the foundation. And so now you have to have a very intimate relationship with yourself and with God to tap back into your true passion it says once you've done everything you can do to achieve a goal, you have to turn the situation over to the divine. So this is um, this energy right now is just a lot of people having to face the reality and cope with the idea that in order for you to get to where you're going, you've had to experience test trials, tribulations and even trauma. And in, you know, all is fair in love and war, but in any war, there will be casualties. There's people and things or situations that you just cannot take with you. And no matter how much you connect with source or even your higher self, you know this, you understand it. But again, that empathy, you still feel it. And it's not it's not necessarily a good feeling. You're being asked right now to surrender your attachment to results so that you can experience joy. You may feel like you're racing against time. Like I said, like it's a it's a a feeling like you need to expedite your healing process because something has been cleared away and you're wanting to spring right into a new beginning. But it's like right now you're needing to surrender to your full power. You're needing to have that more intimate relationship with yourself right now to really, really figure out what your true your power is. So that you can really build things that are truly in alignment with your purpose. This is going to require a bit of patience. What Spirit is saying right now is take some time out to visualize. Imagine what you truly want. Because maybe you've been in denial about the fact that there are some things that you may not be able to forget. But you have no choice but to forgive yourself or those people involved. Okay. There's a lot of power in forgiveness, a lot of power in um, silence. There's a lot of power in vulnerability. And with this Virgo-like energy, this is reviewing your knowledge, reviewing a lot of sacred knowledge or going within to discover it. Third eye, sixth chakra, you have the strategy card here and happy family. This is where you get to a place where, and here's door to value and community, blossoming abundance. What's really strange about this energy for a lot of people is it's not bad. This is overcoming trauma. A lot of people in the collective with this Virgo energy, as you really look over your life, you're seeing that you really have been beaten and bruised by a lot of situations. And with this third eye opening here and this strategy with happy family, community blossoming abundance and door to value, this is saying that the happy family, the wish fulfillment, the joy, the success, the victory, the rewards, the 
recognition everything that you want is here everything though was still part of a plan or a strategy that god had for you which was to teach you how to see the truth about love loyalty forgiveness empathy narcissism you had to learn all of these things so again it's like you were not building your forever you were just building the foundation for your forever and it's all about your perspective because you may look and say man i've gotten to this point but you want to be so much further but the thing is that now you have a clean slate what you want can come to you easily freely because the path is clear for it so you want to try to make sure that you're not feeling down about the fact that perhaps it took you so long or you had to go through so much this is a time where you really really need to tap into being grateful for god's grace and your ability to have so much perseverance through everything that you've been through again the energy right now it feels really weird because you're needing to understand that with this energy you are not you're not going through an issue anymore you're simply reviewing the issues that you've gone through so you have to be very clear about the fact that you're reliving certain situations perhaps only in your mind so that you can close out certain cycles but don't let that confuse you with you actually going through it. It seems so real because, yeah, you're feeling all those feelings, but you're needing to stay very focused on what you're visualizing for your life because you're not actively going through anything. A lot of you. A lot of you, certain situations in your life, it has already happened. It's over and it's done. But again, you can't move around it. To get over it, you have to go through it. So you have to feel all of the feels, okay? And, and it, it's as if you're going through it, but you now are just reviewing this hole in your soul here and what's going to come out on the other side is you're going to find that there's so much beauty in this this pain it's going to take you to your purpose it's now allowing you to really remove your mask so you're detaching completely from an older version of yourself or your past or whatever you're just completely detaching you're detaching from a lot of illusions and right now you may be very tempted um there could be yeah you're dealing with temptation now because the slate is clean so of course when the enemy sees that your slate is clean it wants to come in and bring toxicity bring drama bring darkness because there's so much love and light that is surrounding you what spirit is saying what god is saying is to be very patient in this time and do not fall victim to the temptation of those enemies that are constantly watching you this takes a great deal of courage in order for you to get out of these cycles see you've already closed out a lot of very toxic karmic cycles in your life and now the enemy is trying to make you feel like you are rejected this is a rejection that you are feeling. This is you being in power and having control in protecting your peace. So because you are accepting of the fact that maybe right now you are alone, the enemy is trying to make you feel like you are rejected or like you are lonely. Being alone and being lonely is not the same. So you're going to have to be able to see through those different illusions because a lot of people have probably been cleared out of your life for you to have this huge transformation. So what the enemy is trying to do is play on your mind to make you feel like you're you're alone and lonely and this is what this will be your portion forever. No, you're actually in a great place right now because you don't have fake and phony people 
or low vibrational energies around you, it gives you an opportunity to have everything that you want, which is the happy family and your actual soul family. Well, that's why the community is here. Your friends will become like your family. So um, just be mindful of illusions right now because as you go in and you do the healing and that shadow work, you don't want to get stuck in the darkness. Remember that you have to get on the other side of it. Okay. So let's see. Let's use this. Get the tarot. Woman holding a heart and the world is here. All tied up in contract, yeah. And then simple path. Exactly. Your spirit guides and angels, they're very um, thankful and they're appreciative of the fact that you continue to keep your heart open. Your love is the reason why you keep experiencing these level ups. And it has freed you from a contract, a karmic contract that had you all tied up. And it was keeping you blocked from a certain level of um, prosperity, abundance, or and even protection on your journey. So just be very mindful. A lot of you, like I said, you've cleared something out. And here comes that trickster spirit or that energy or that person or, you know, something to try and tempt you to go backwards. Don't do it. Do not go back. Two of Pentacles. You're trying to balance. But be mindful. Don't try to bring an old mindset into a new journey. The Knight of Cups is here. And the Hierophant. Some of you, if this is um, around a love situation. Yeah, it is. Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands is here. You know exactly what you want. There is something here that's tempting you. Make you feel like you need to go back. Or you need to review something. Or you need more clarity. Or you need more of a confirmation. But what you need to really take inventory of in this situation is. If you, if you truly sit back and assess and evaluate what's really going on. You probably will recognize that every time there's an Ace of Cups, every time you start to love yourself more, every time new love is presented to you and it's equal give and take and it can go the distance and it's in alignment with your morals, your values, it can lead to, you know, a happy life, family or whatever. You find yourself dealing with this juggling act or this instability. There is this trickster type of energy or spirit that is constantly coming in to throw you off course. And really all it is, is ego. It's temptation. There's a need for you to get a hold of your mind. Queen of Swords here. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Cut off the things that do not allow you to be in this fertile and abundant energy. If you want to birth an entire universe uh, with your ideas, your love, and your light, then you have to protect it at all costs. Some of you are constantly falling victim to these situations of dealing with people who are putting you in these open like contracts and relationships with third party situations and so forth. Look, I cannot make that up. The Seven of Cups. And it's leading to you as an empath, of course, being very confused. You're, 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 you're falling into this temptation or someone is trying to pull you in with seduction and temptation. And all it's going to do is force you to miss out on an opportunity where you can heed the call of, of God in your own destiny. Somebody wants you to be in this night of wands, this, this flighty type of energy. But there is a very, really a, a fun, flirty, 
type of energy that you should be in for a brand new beginning where there are no issues or any delays. But this to me is also, it's all fire and all passion. Somebody here, for some of you, is purposely trying to confuse you and overwhelm you because they see that you are awakening, you're awakened, you're aware, and you're not, you're ascending. So somebody here who is confused about you and what the two of you have shared, they're projecting their confusion onto you. And they and and this will make you feel like you are being rejected. After you've already made a decision to move forward and to forgive yourself and to let go and let something new come in, you will begin to feel rejected because of how this person is projecting. And so you will get in this fun, flirty, fiery, passionate energy thinking about this, this particular person and it will force you to miss an opportunity. This is what the person wants. This is what the devil wants you to do. The, the devil wants to seduce your mind so that you will miss this opportunity. You have to make a sacrifice if you want this Ten of Pentacles Empress. In a, like, if you want this, look, can you see? You have the Temperance card, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Something here has to be surrendered, sacrificed. For some, it's even a person. For some, there's a mother figure that is going to have to be eliminated from your life because they're blocking this balance that is trying to enter your life. And it may not necessarily be a mother figure. This could be, this empress, could, it could be a wife. It could be someone's wife, someone's mother, a mother figure, a baby's mother. Somebody here, if they want to actually manifest true abundance, they must sacrifice something. And this could be for male or female, feminine or masculine. There's a, a, a third party energy and interference here that is keeping a, a very beautiful union or connection from coming together because someone here is not giving up this idea that they are supposed to deal with the person there's a lack of boundaries here this is just it's some type of codependency like somebody has a hold on a person and if it's not an actual person it's just a mindset but you have the temperance here the king of swords the six of cups and the emperor wow and the chariot ten of cups there you have it your happily ever after is here you just need to surrender to it and don't be afraid to sacrifice anything or anyone that is blocking you from having it along the way. If this isn't you, this is someone that you are connecting with. If you're connecting with people and they refuse to leave behind old lovers, old friends, and perhaps even their family. And that's blocking them from going on this journey with you to have a legacy. You're going to have to just leave them behind because what is for you is for you. And it's not attached to just a one person. It's attached to a particular energy. We're energetic beings, but I think that we all, myself, we all get attached to a person. It's a particular energy that you're supposed to, and that can come in many different people. These are just, this body is just a, a, a physical, just a vessel for you to, to hold a certain type of energy. There's a divine feminine out here who is ready for this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups life, who is very connected energetically, spiritually, and is trying to align to go towards this like emperor energy. This very much just divine angelic type of being of a partner. But there is something here that has to be given up. Like I said, it's a mindset or it's a person. Some of you, it's a person. They just keep coming into your life. If not physically, energetically, their energy is so potent. But you have to get to a point where you stop allowing that energy into your life. Even if it's a friend or a family member, because for some of you, it's a mother figure. For some of you, it's an ex-spouse. It's a close friend. Whoever, this is someone, it's, they have to 
be eliminated energetically, especially in order for this new energy. There, there's um there's the energy that's trying to come into your life that cannot coexist with the energy that's already in your life. Wow. That makes me think about the reading where I, um, it was it's probably been two or three months ago. Well, I said that there is a divine, there's like a divine masculine that's in your energy, but they can't really show up physically because they can still feel a karmic energy around you. The karmic energy could be someone that you're dealing with romantically. It could be a friend or a family member, but there's a, an angelic type of energy that wants to come into your life. It cannot coexist with something, another person in your life or as long as you still have a certain mindset, this energy cannot come in because this is an energy that most likely you will become one with. You're already one with this this energy for many of you. It's like a divine partner of yours, but it cannot exist with something else or if your mindset is close off to the idea of this or if you're not feeling worthy of it or you're still concerned about something from the past this energy it can't show up or every time it does show up there's going to be turbulence and confusion because there's another energy here that is just it's, it cannot be here this is you making a decision to really go after you're happily ever after the four of wands, your union, you're happily ever after. You have to make that decision. Or if it's not you, it's a person that you're connecting with. And here you have Virgo energy, the hermit. You really have to go within and figure out what is the missing piece as to why it is that you are constantly feeling like you're hanging on by a thread in this wounded warrior type of energy. Something here is being blocked off where you're constantly being in the cold. There's an energy that is keeping you blocked off from something in that, that's destined to be in your life. The Page of Cups is here with the Ten of Swords, the Lovers, the King of Wands, and the Magician. What is this Page of Cups? I feel like there's a um there's an offer a page of cups there's an offer or someone wants to apologize to you for an injustice that they've done to you in some type of way. This is a lover for a lot of you, and I just get that energy it's being a day late and a dollar short, it's like you, you've already manifested. Your match, this energy just needs to be purged out for good. Because all it does is cause conflicts for you where you cannot make decisions you can't be balanced and you're having a difficult time with freeing yourself being liberated and going towards people and situations that are truly a vibrational match for you so this is like a friend or a family member or a lover that's always whispering in your ear you need to do something this way and you know it's not what you want you know it's not what you need and, and they're constantly trying to sway you to a side of the fence that's just not for you. Like I said, this could be just a mindset. You've been raised to think that you should be a certain way, be with a certain type of person, you know, have a certain type of job or whatever. This is you finally making It's like. For you to have your happily ever after, you really have to. Exit the matrix and leave everything behind. It's something here for a lot of people in the collective that you know you have to leave behind. Maybe you physically left it behind, but on a spiritual, energetic level, you're still holding on to it or it's still holding on to you. 
you're going to really have to free yourself from some type of contract here because I'm telling you, there's an energy that is within you and or around you. It cannot ex coexist with this um this extremely like high like i don't know there's like a there's something or someone entering your life that that has this purity about it and for some of you this is you that is this beautiful divine angelic being and you have a person that should be in your life but until they free themselves from something this is on pause there's something here that is it's 100 supposed to be it's meant to be but there's something that 100 has to be eliminated there could be no remnants of something left behind like it, it has to go it's something that appeals to ego i can tell you that it's something very surface level, very superficial, or it's a mindset that is very toxic and rooted in codependency that has to go. This may be someone who refuses to, like, I'm really getting family. Like somebody here refuses to walk away from a family dynamic or like a, a it, it's somebody close a, a parental figure a sibling somebody is having difficulty with seeing that like this family or for some it's even like a a religion it's something that is somebody is holding on to so dearly and it's bad it's bad for them and i, and I feel i can see the reason why it's hard to let go because it doesn't look or feel bad. It's just that it's not in alignment. This it, It's not that it's so terrible. It's just not for you. That's it. It just causes conflict. If you really go with and like I said, a lot of you, you will see that every single time you have some kind of level up, you probably have to deal with this, this thing, this, these questions, these doubts, these fears, this, this mindset or this person or this group of people. Somebody's empathy is getting the best of them you're 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 focused so focused on what you feel coming from this person or this group that you're not actually prioritizing your yourself and your future and, and something here i feel like there's something here that has been a missed opportunity several times for you Yeah, it's like your guys, they're trying to take you away from this group. They're trying to move you away from a group and into a new group. There's something here in your past that is still holding you back. You, you have friends and family who still know you from who you used to be. And it's like, it's that one person or that one, somebody in your life that a lot of you, if it's not you, it's someone that you're connecting with. They refuse to let this thing or this person go. I, and I know I keep saying, but it's a, look, it's a burden. Ten of Wands. There's something or someone in your life that it keeps you attached to a mindset or you're in this mental imprisonment constantly about this person. This is somebody that like you constantly have to look over your shoulder. You constantly have to wonder are they good? Are they working with you or are they working against you? Are they laughing with you or are they laughing at you? Or it's just for some of you, like I said, it's, it may not even be a person in, in your life anymore. It's just your mind keeps going back to the what ifs. You're going to have to let go of the burden of the what if. 
No more shoulda, woulda, coulda. Like, there's a clean slate here. Whatever did not make it, you're gonna just have to accept it. I feel like if you look around at your table now, whoever's at the table is who God is saying, this is acceptable. Some of you, if you've gone through periods where you've cut communication and contact with people, it was for a reason. If certain people are still coming, it's, you have to say, okay, well, maybe this is God saying that this is, this is okay. The people who are still standing is okay, but what's blocking for some of you is not actual people. It's just your guilt about the fact that you didn't let them come along. Everybody can't sit at the table with you. Yeah, it's an illusion here. You have this illusion that you've lost something. All is not lost here. There's regret. There's shame and disappointment here. It's a burden that you keep carrying. You'll know what this is. Yeah. Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess and the Fool card. It's time for you to be okay with holding back. Because the truth about everything is out, whether you want to see it, believe it, or accept it or not. You need to be more vigilant about protecting yourself, your energy. There's things in your energy that are not good because a lot of people... You're not seeing things from your spiritual eyes. It's your human eyes. And like I said, to the human mind, a lot of things that you perceive, it looks like it's okay. But energetically, spiritually, it's not. It's time now for you to heal and take a leap of faith so that you can go towards like a very, very beautiful partnership. And to first going into union with yourself. But there is a very beautiful connection here that's for you. But you just have to see that there's something that you're going to really have to heal from. And, you know, I'll be honest. There, there's a there's a, a subscriber here on this channel. And I, I want to call her by name so bad. I'm just going to say her name starts with a J. If you're watching my and she watches my videos daily. I read all my comments, every single video. This person says how she's not gonna let anybody near her. The past can't do this. And it's just paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. And, and, and every day I juggle with the idea of blocking this person. Seriously. But, and I, I think to myself, how can you watch so many videos and get so much spiritual guidance and enlightenment and you still can't see that you are so stuck in being bitter and broken that you will not allow yourself to be better or to manifest something better? Some people watch these readings and Everything that you gather from the reading, you apply it to something from the past. If you feel like your past is over there, why are you applying every reading to your past? Of course, past energies will come up. But if you're manifesting something new, why is that not your priority? Why is it that every single time we talk about a beautiful person coming into your life, you automatically default to who has left your life. That is the problem here. This is the burden that so many people are carrying. It's the burden of your own trauma. That a lot of people are refusing to let go of. I don't know it's easier said than done. Oh, just let it go. Trust me, I have my days too. I, I cry and... 
go through stuff just like everybody else before I this, this camera turns on. But when will you finally just see that, okay, <laughs> you're tired of being tired of being angry, sad, and bitter? Every single reading, if it's a twin flame reading, if it's a love reading, if it's a reading about something hidden in the workplace, certain people, they come in every single day about all the things that they won't allow. That is sending the message to the universe that you don't have the courage to actually free yourself from a cycle here. You're procrastinating. You're slowing yourself down because all you focus on is on what you won't do. If all your mind thinks about is what you won't do and what you won't allow, nothing will come into your life. If all you think about is how the past hurts you, you will always attract either the past or things that are very much like the past. This is seriously the reason why, like I said, as you go within, like with this Virgo energy and hermit mode, you truly have to understand the importance of seeing, even when you're listening to readings, these things are not happening to you now. They've already happened. Take the wisdom, the clarity, the confirmation, and move on. The devil is here and temperance. Something here has to be balanced out. The devil here is, is saying that you're restricting yourself. And when you fall into this energy of restricting yourself and focusing on the past and everything that hurts you, all you're doing is opening up a portal for the devil, for the enemy, and every single trickster spirit to keep taking advantage of you. You're a playground for the devil when all you do is think about being in bondage and who manipulated you and who hurt you. The devil is going to have a field day with you. And then for some people, if you're dealing with people in your life, it's like you, your empathy is getting you in, in trouble because it's like the devil will come to you and say, hey, I put a fan down in hell. And your empathy and, and, and you falling for the illusions, you will forget that it's hell. The fan does no good in hell. You can put 10 fans, you can put a million fans in hell. It's still hell. So do not be seduced by the tricks on your mind by the devil. Because empaths oftentimes will look past everything bad and will only see one thing that's good. Because you don't want that person to feel any of the type of pain that you felt before. You're going to have to be... Like... I. You're just going to have to have more courage to protect yourself. Honestly, you're going to have to learn how to be more selfish. In order for you to finally have this temperance energy, having some type of peace, balance, and harmony in your life. Just all I can say in this reading is free yourself from this illusion that you're going through hell. You're not. You're just remembering the days that you were in hell. But if that's all you think about, it will always seem like you're still in hell. Your perception is your reality. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Now, I don't know why these cards came out in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. If you don't master yourself or master whatever this is that you may be going through or if it's not you and if it's somebody else in your life but i i feel strongly like for people especially who are going into counterpart connections if you're going through it they're going through it too nobody here is perfect and can point the fingers and say that there's no such thing as you being fully healed and you know everything if you don't dedicate your time effort and energy now though to mastering yourself and overcoming whatever this obstacle is a lot of the good changes 
the excitement, the freedom and everything else that should be manifesting in your life, it will turn into a missed opportunity and you will experience this death energy. You're going to have to put an end to the things that stop you from actually mastering yourself to experience these life changing times in your life for this major transformation. You have the four of cups, which is here in the reverse. And then here's the 10 of wands. The four of cups is again, this is letting go of pessimism. It's letting go of thinking all the time that, oh my goodness, you're going to be unhappy and nothing is going to work out for you. This victim mentality, it's causing you to lose focus. It's causing you to be restricted and burnt out and overwhelmed. So spirit is saying now it's time for you to embrace the world. It's time for you to go out to live, not just exist. It's time for you to see that there's a lot of possibilities for you. That wish fulfillment and freedom is there if you choose to close this cycle out for good. You're going to have pages of swords is here in the reverse. Some of you, you need to stop allowing people to watch and monitor you and stop yourself from watching and monitoring other people. Because here you have the sun and the four of wands. So there's, and here's the chariot. It's no secret that it's time for some of you to move, to relocate, to let love in. And then, you know, I'm not trying to pick on any of the subscribers who leave comments, but I'm just calling out what I see. Some people who speak from such a bitter tongue the one thing that you really need is joy and some type of love. You need to be surrounded by someone that will show you love, whether it's a friend, family member, a child, a pet. Maybe you will stop being so mean, bitter, and angry about everything. And then walking out into the world wondering why things aren't going your way. It's because your life is becoming a projection of the energy that you put out. Everything that you think is doom and gloom and how you're never going to let anybody in. So what makes you think that some type of magical divine being is going to approach you? It's not going to happen. You're going to have to overcome some of that. And be disciplined and determined. To, to learn how to be positive and more optimistic about your life so that you can have reasons to celebrate and be happy. The four of pentacles is here. You can't be afraid of what you're going to lose. You can't fear loss anymore. A lot of people are very, very afraid of what they're going to lose because you've taken so many losses. But God keeps saying this time is different. You already got through that part of your journey. It's time for wish fulfillment. Now you're, it's like a lot of people's like your, your, your heart, your mind and body aren't in sync. You know, you deserve better. You know, you've done the work, but something still hasn't set in where you actually see that like, okay, good stuff is here. There's good stuff here. You, you're, you're being blinded by the bad stuff that already happened. Yeah, the tower. The tower, the queen of wands came in the reverse and the moon. I feel like there's shocking events. There's epiphanies coming also about um, some of the illusions and the traps that have been set for you by various people in your life, perhaps. This is coming to an end, but only if you allow it to. Yeah, and the stars in the reverse. The moon is here, but the stars in the reverse. The Queen of Wands is in the reverse. I feel like divine intervention is coming in to ensure that your confidence and everything is restored. Because some of you is like your courage and 
optimism and everything else, it has been blocked by something or someone along the way. It's like for some of you, you you actually had a person in your life who did not want you to have equal give and take, reciprocity. They didn't want you to have good luck or peace. They didn't want you to be bold or to take action. They just wanted you to exist and not live your life. You can't give that type of energy fuel or power. All right. This is like for sure, this is just the enemy. This is the devil. And the devil can come in so many different forms, but this is the devil. This is just how the devil works to seduce you by finding out your weak point and then seducing you to try and keep you stuck in darkness. And it will send attacks your way. Whether it's it's just you, it's it's like it will attack you in a way so that you pretty much will, you will hurt and harm yourself. Or it, the devil will work through people around you to send you things that will tempt you and seduce you into staying stuck and stagnant so that you don't go on your actual life's path and journey. So you have to now step into your north node and out of your, your comfort zone because a new start is coming. You're going to have to remove yourself from anything or anyone that can be used by the devil to attack you. So like I said, it's like if you have any person in your life that you feel like you need to kind of question, you just need to stay away from them. You need to stop making excuses and you need to stay away from that person. If you know that you don't have certain issues or challenges now, I know everybody wants to help everyone. But if you are around people who, let's say they're bitter, they're resentful or egotistical, the devil has a direct link to them. And because they are connected to you, that gives the, de the devil direct access to you. So if the devil is having a difficult time with reaching you, it will try to reach you through everyone around you. So when you recognize you have people around you, they're jealous, envious, bitter, or whatever, you just need to leave that alone. They don't realize what they're doing, but the devil knows that he can use them to get to you. So this is about you learning how to hold back. Restrict. Don't, don't be afraid to have boundaries and to restrict people from having any access to you. Access to you is a privilege. You have here luck is on your side. New moon and Sagittarius, full moon and Pisces, balance spirituality and practicality. And prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. There's a card that flew across the floor. I'm not going to get it. It's too far away. Uh, I'm lying. I'll get it. <laughs> I don't. I, I always take my cards, even if they fall on the floor, because I feel like whatever comes out is what Spirit wants us to know. Well, the card that, can, that fell on the floor is nothing will come of this situation. So again, there's a situation... For some of you, if it's not, it's either you or someone that you're dealing with. Nothing will come of this situation. Leave the dead end situations alone. Just leave it alone. If you have to leave something behind, if it's meant to be in your life, God, just put it in God's hands and let God lead it back into your life. But there are certain situations here. There is something in your life that you just know. Nothing is going to come of this situation. You need to get out now and save yourself. 